Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are ready. In fact, in my arthritis cookbook, I have a chapter devoted to no fuss foods and easy cooking with quick recipes and kitchen setup. So let's get started. Look for pre-chopped seasoning. You can find seasoning mixes with onions, green peppers, and celery already mixed together. Look for minced or chopped garlic. Not only is it easy to use, but it's so convenient. Go to your local salad bar to get all your veggies pre-chopped. Buy baby carrots so there's no need to chop there, and you could also find carrots already shredded. I think you could find any of your favorite fruits already pre-cut in the grocery. Eat salmon, it's a great food to add to your diet because it's packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which are good to help you fight inflammation. Salmon is one of the best sources of omega-3s, and you have to get them through your diet. Salmon is quick cooking and so easy to make. One of my favorite recipes is my oven baked salmon with spinach and feta stuffing. But remember, you could always cook salmon in a skillet so easily. Glazed salmon is a quick cooking four ingredient recipe with a sweet glaze. Raw salmon lasts in your refrigerator one to two days after purchase date on package and cooked salmon lasts about three days. Properly. Edamame is low in fat, but it's high in fiber and high in protein. You can find edamame fresh or frozen and shelled in the groceries to toss in recipes. I like to eat edamame for a snack by the handful. I also have a great dip in my arthritis cookbook called guacamame. It blends avocado and edamame for a creamy, nutritious dip. And I have recipes with edamame in everything from pastas to salads. Edamame lasts in the refrigerator up to four days. Grapefruit, limes, and lemons are a great source of vitamin C. And vitamin C helps prevent inflammation. And Start your day with a glass of orange juice. Have grapefruit for a morning breakfast or even a snack. Add lemon or lime juice to a variety of foods, from salads to marinade. Citrus will last in the refrigerator for several weeks to one month. Spinach is a green leafy vegetable and it's packed with vitamin A, C, and K. Spinach is so versatile and I always have spinach to add whatever I'm making, whether a recipe calls for it or not. You could toss spinach with mixed greens and I like to use the baby spinach because it's a little more tender. Add spinach to pasta, pizza, or soup, the list is endless. In fact, my chicken, red pepper, and spinach pizza is so good, it's on the cover of my arthritis cookbook. Peppers are one of the best sources of vitamin C. They're good for your immune system. Just a half a cup of red bell pepper gives you a full day supply of vitamin C. I add peppers just like I do spinach to whatever I'm making. I also cut them in squares and use them as a chip for my favorite dip. Blueberries top the ch Add blueberries to whatever you're baking, from desserts to muffins. Who doesn't like a blueberry muffin, especially with my easy, healthy blueberry muffin recipe? Sprinkle blueberries on yogurt for a healthy and delicious snack. Today we're going to do a chicken cranberry pecan salad. Cranberries are such a rich source of the antioxidant vitamin C. Everybody's condition is different, so you always want to check with your doctor before pizza, sandwiches, burgers. I have a great recipe for a barbecue chicken pizza. Starts with a pizza crust, you can use rotisserie or leftover chicken, and pre-cut veggies.
lasagna into individual servings and freeze so you could have it the next night or even the next week. There's nothing better than pulling a good pizza from the freezer for a last minute meal when you don't feel like cooking. Soups and casseroles are even better frozen. I took this gumbo straight from my freezer for tonight's dinner. If you're cooking protein like salmon or chicken, cook extra to have for dinner one night and top a salad the next. Have your can opener or whatever you use most often on the counter or within close reach. Take advantage of electronics such as food processors and blenders to keep from having to do so much chopping and mixing. And use lighter weight pots and make sure your pots have two handles as it's really easier to hold. Batch cooking and a convenient kitchen setup can make it easier on you. So I'm really excited to share with you, I think an easy lemon chicken and the best lemon chicken. Here's the ingredients. How good does this chicken dish look? I bet this lemon chicken will be your go-to last minute chicken dish.